Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at a few things that I pick up fairly routinely. Well, let's talk about this one here first. Now, whenever I'm at a sale, there's one thing I always look for on the bookcases that most people just pass by. Anything tied to an audiobook of the Bible or, geez, there's so many other audiobooks, vintage ones that are worth some good money. Now, the ones that are usually worth the best money aren't necessarily from a specific book, but maybe motivational, a lecture, um, talking about sometimes scientific things and things like that. Now, this is just the New Testament. I paid two bucks for this, and what's inside this are basically cassettes. Always make sure they're there. Always make sure that the tape itself is in good condition. I'll check a whole bunch of them before I ever sink two bucks into it. Because if a couple of them are damaged, you might as well just throw it away. The chances of you finding the replacement cassettes are almost zip. So I always check them out, even for $2. I don't like to even waste $2. It's just not worth it when I could just take a couple moments and take a look at that. Now, you can look this up yourself. We've sold these anywhere from 30 bucks, like this one here should get me 30 to 40 bucks, all the way up to 150 bucks for one that had the Old and the New Testament and that was read by someone well known. There are a ton of these Bible ones, but every Bible one I think I've ever sold, I've gotten at least 30 bucks for. I think that's the bare bones minimum on any one I've ever sold. And I've sold geez, dozens of these. I have two more of these, not the same one, but two more Bibles on audio right this very second. We just got in about two weeks ago. Haven't listed them yet. Christmas time's a good time to list these, just FYI. Now, I also pick up all the time lanterns. I love old lanterns. Um, this is an old Coleman right here. I think it's a 200A. Yeah, 200A from 1965. It's in really nice condition, if you can see. A little dirty. These are pretty easy to take apart and clean. A lot of the gunk you may see on these can be washed and scrubbed off. The label looks good is what I look for. If the label's still good, most of the other stuff on these is cleanable. You can get these all shining up in the whole works. There's people that just buy these, reservice them, set them all up, put a new mantle, the actual part that actually burns sets it all up and then they'll sell them for two three times what they would otherwise this one's pretty good it has a little bit of wear and stuff like that this one sells fairly regularly now here's the same model 200a from a, a few years earlier than ours comparable it's missing the globe and it's still sold for 74 dollars the colored versions the red ones do extremely well people like the oddball colors though they made a lot of red ones green was far more popular and they made so many more green ones than they ever did red. There's some yellow ones, goldenish color also. I've seen some blue ones even in the day. Here's another one. This one has some issues as you can see. It has been well used all the way around and this one's still sold for $66.27. It depends on the model. It depends on the version. It depends on the age when this was made. There's usually a number on the bottom. You can tell it's on the bottom right of the actual unit itself and that usually is a, a way to date these. Still they sell for some fine money as you can see here. So as you can see, there is some pretty good money. Even in this condition as it is, with the globe, with the Pyrex on here, this should get me at least 70 bucks for it. Now I paid five bucks for this out of junk. So everything's here, everything works. It pumps, it's got all the parts. The whole works, just no box. So I'm pretty happy with that. Just a junk sale purchase there. Now here's another one. This is a 22F and I have the box for it. This is an earlier one. I want to say this is 60s or so. Uh, one thing, too, on this, there are many different versions of the 228. There's an H and F. It just depends on when it was made. Now, I have the booklets, the paperwork that came with it, too. That's always a big plus in these sorts of things. It has the warranty card, it looks like, some lighting instructions. Um, it's got a little pamphlet even here with a welcome uh, booklet here. So I could probably date it by this. Uh, not a big deal here. It says 69 in the paperwork. That's probably pretty accurate. Always happy to get the paperwork. It usually adds to the value, even if it's not in the best, best condition. Let's see what else is in here. Coupon. There's a little another pamphlet on how to use it with the model number in there. That kind of stuff does add to the value. I've sold just these paperworks, the pamphlets that came with it for 15 bucks in the past when it was a decent older version of these. Now this is a double mantle one. Now in all honesty, this looks like it may have been used just once. No marks or mars other than just a couple of spots, which is routine. And then uh, the mantles have been replaced would be my guess. Maybe not, but they sure look like it. 
Um, it looks like it's barely been used. Now, one dangerous thing on some of these, you can run into some of these that still have fluid in them. You can hear it in this one here. So this is one I'm going to have to drain out. I will have to let it all evaporate. I'm going to clean the inside professionally, carefully before I sell it. These are pretty easy to service in all honesty too. They sell very, very well. Now here's one in terrible condition as you can see. It has rust. It has some of the finish gone. It's been well used. There's even rust on the inside of this. Even though it may work, it still has the box. The condition is not very good at all. Um, it has some... Well, actually quite a bit of damage all over the place. This isn't something you could just clean up. You'd have to really possibly repaint it. it may have some dents or something else like that the way it looks. It's still sold for 40 bucks. Now here's one more comparable to the one that I have. It has the paperwork, the box, and the lantern looks like it's in excellent condition with no real damage that I can see. So the better the condition, the better the value, most obviously with these. Again, they can be cleaned up. The biggest factor I always look at is, is the label nice? If the label's nice, usually it's worth messing with. Now, you can't go wrong with these sorts of things. I paid 10 bucks for this in the box at the same place. Now, we do sell these fairly routinely. We've sold quite a few. When I get a good one like this in decent condition, especially with the box, I always try to nab it up if the price is right. And for the price on this one, I cannot beat the cost on it, too. Now, these are common ones I'm showing you, even at those dollar ranges. Let's look at a few more that aren't so common that sell for some phenomenally higher money. Now, what many people aren't aware is Coleman goes back way, way back. Here is a very early Coleman lantern right here. This one sold for $6,700. This is what's called an arc lamp, and you can look that up. It was a way they actually lighted homes at one time with arc lamps. Street lights were arc lamps and the whole works at one time. Some of them, not all of them, of course, but I've seen many of the giant lamps that would have hung outside that were basically the exact same thing as this just a very large version these are early they almost never show up if they do even parts pieces even a, a incomplete one can sell for thousands of dollars here's another early one this is a yale arc lamp by coleman Turn of the century, 1916, 1917. Excellent design, stainless steel chrome on the outside with a big globe inside. Really nice one. These are really unique, sought after beyond belief. Almost $7,000 for this one. If this had the box or it had some of the paperwork, you could get $10,000 or better for some of these. This person has it in working order is the key too. It's lit. You can see it works without a doubt. Now here's a different version of the same 200 I showed you. It's the earlier one. One of the very first runs of of these sorts of things and it has the box looks like it was never fired the bottom is stainless steel chrome and then you have the painted red top you had to put these together to take these apart all you have to do is pull off the actual handle and unscrew the little finial on the top and everything comes apart on these they're extremely easy to fix clean and the whole works if you ever want to mess with one of these now it doesn't take much skill to get these working either if they're used and semi beat up you can replace parts you can clean it up you can refill it and test it you never they'll mail these if they have any type of fluid inside they have to be drained cleaned and the whole works you don't want even fumes left in any of these either because they could be very hazardous i would still recommend shipping these ground only no matter what in my opinion if they have been used and as you can see this one went for almost three thousand five hundred bucks now one of the scarcer ones are the gold bond it's a gold colored one here and this has the box the paperwork and the whole works it's the same lamp as any of the other ones but the color scheme is is why this one goes for so much money. Well over a thousand dollars as you can see. Again, just because of the color. Color variants, specialty ones go extremely well. There's even one that was released around Christmas time that has a red top and a green bottom. Sometimes people will mix and match them trying to fool people, but there are some original versions that were issued in mixed matched colors, basically designed for Christmas from what I can find out. And they sell for some pretty darn good money in these same comparable ranges as well. Here's another one with a slightly different tint of green. This one dates to the 1930s. I think it says 35 on there. This one's in excellent condition. You won't find a nicer one from this era, hence why it went for 1155 bucks. Now here's one of the mixed match color versions. Now there are some earlier ones than this which have a wider top to it, a wider red part. Those are the earlier ones. They're kind of stubby from the few that I have run into. Most of the mixed match colors like this are fairly scarce. Again, some people have mixed matched these intentionally and mixed up a red one and a green one just to try and get more money out of it. You really got to know what you're doing if you're going 
going to spend a lot of money. If it's just 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 bucks, I'd take a shot in almost any one of these because somebody's going to buy it. As you can see, this one went for almost $1,000. This is a really good area. You can find them all over the place. Garage sales, flea markets are usually the best place for us to find them. Estate sales in a garage, most definitely, even auctions. Sometimes I've been able to buy a whole bunch of pieces and parts and sell replacement parts as well. If these look visibly workable, chances are it is repairable or usable from that point as well, as long as there's no dings, dents, or anything else like that either. We've never had an issue selling any of them, never had a return or anything else like that, even for the ones we never tested. But just be careful. Make sure it looks like it's all there. Make sure everything that you can see you've tested. There's no fluid in the whole works before you ship them. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Sounds like you've accidentally invented a thermochemical energy source. A scientific wonder becomes a nightmare. Someone's walking around. With enough explosive to turn the city into a pancake. A power that could mark the beginning of the end for the $6 million man.